It's time for us to wave bye-bye to the Robot Masters. I say this because our last target is Waveman. And is it me? Or does Waveman remind anybody of Empoleon? Due to the fact that he's black and blue, and he has that crest on his forehead. Well, I guess I can think about that another time. Waveman's stage takes place in what I assume is a water treatment facility. Anyways, you'll want to be careful of those gas streams, because you don't want to run into them. They, in fact, will damage you. Also, it's the return of the Techions. And that hurt. Alright, that's the first part of the stage taken care of. And now is the time to reintroduce the Rush Jet. Once again, it got totally ruined in this game. Because he can only fly straight. Not up, not down, not to the left, not to the right. You don't have any control over him. And that stinks! Because that would certainly come in handy in certain sections of the game. Make sure you take the rightmost pipe because that will carry you to the extra life. Down we go. Hey, it's the return of the Gearies. Also, the return of the gas. Oh, good, I managed to avoid that one. You'll definitely need to rely on some quick thinking if you want to avoid all of the hazards on Waveman's stage because his stage is on the harder end of the spectrum. And speaking of difficult, take a look at this. We have to ride on these bubbles. The large ones you can stay on for an extended period of time. The small ones, however, are a different story because they will pop if you are on top of them for long enough. So we need to jump, jump again, and jump the just like that. <laughs> I'm so overcome with excitement, I can't even speak properly. <laughs> Don't stay on too long because there are death spikes. What water stage wouldn't be complete without death spikes, let's be honest. And speaking of a screaming metal death trap, we have a jet ski. My only question is why? Why does Mega Man need a jet ski? I mean, didn't he have rush for water transport in Mega Man 3? Well, in any case, we have two new enemies, V's and Ryder Joes. Watch out for those Ryder Joes because they can sneak up on behind you all of a sudden. And we also have hopping fish named Irukan. They are rather annoying because they hop really high and they can interfere with your jumps. And behold, a mini boss at long last, Octoper OA. You'll want to jump right as he surfaces, because that means he's going to shoot a fireball at you. And thankfully, I didn't take much damage. So let's continue moving onwards and forwards, I guess. Now, we need to keep our eyes peeled, because somewhere along this water is the letter. The last letter we need. And it's probably going to show up any minute now. Oh, jeez. I'm getting nailed here. Oh, there it is. Yes, we got it. Okay, even if I die, I am satisfied. Now, can we make it to the other end? We're almost there. Oh, boy. All right, it should be worth noting, you cannot use any E-tanks while you are on the jet ski. So I'm going to take the liberty of using one right now. And take a look. Now that we have collected all eight letters, we are rewarded with Beat. Who is Beat? Well, we'll find out in a future video. For now, we need to get rid of this twin cannon. And there we have it. So when you are ready, equip the charge kick. Yes. You attack by sliding into enemies. I already complained enough about that in the last video, and now we will find out the reason for my complaints. 
Hey there, wave man. How's it going? So he's going to start off by sending a wave at you, and then he will throw a harpoon. You need to slide back and forth and hit him with the charge kick. But the thing is, he's going to fire a harpoon at you immediately after the wave subsides. And if you aren't at the right distance when using the charge kick, you're going to get damaged in the process. So in that respect, Waveman can be a bit of a challenge. But now that he has receded, we have our eighth and final Robot Master weapon. You got the Water Wave. I gotta say, I thought the name would be a little more creative. Thank you, Mr. Random Video Game Power-Up Name Maker. You're fired. All right. All eight Robot Masters have been defeated. It's time to breach Proto Man's castle and figure out the truth behind this madness. See you guys next time.